Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We're going to talk about altcoins you should be avoiding. So welcome to the video, the channel. Hi. If you're new, please do subscribe, hit the bell button, like and comment. Now, let's just put a little disclaimer out here. These coins I've featured, by the way, if you are an investor, cool, happy days, whatever, doesn't matter. But I'm going off experience in terms of all coins you should avoid in terms of research purposes, right? Due to past kind of dealings and why you should probably think twice about looking at certain coins that have certain sort of ilks that have been mentioned in these three cryptocurrencies plus one other type of cryptocurrency that you should probably definitely 110% avoid. So in this video, I mentioned three coins. They're all due to the fact that they've done certain things in the past that give a little red flag to your research elements of any sort of cryptocurrency. So, as I say, this is not to foot a project. This is just to be honest. The facts are all there on the web. I'm just bringing it to people that, okay, cool. I know that if this happens with any coin that you're looking at and you're thinking, right, I really like this coin, but hold on a minute. I need to check this. Oh, hold on a minute. They've done this. Oh, hold on a minute. You should definitely try and have that sort of thing. So the first one we're going to look at is probably the most obvious is, in my opinion, Bitcoin SV. Why? It's dodgy. The owner's dodgy. It just smells a bit weird. If you don't know who the owner and the creator of this is, it's Craig Wright. Okay. Simple as that. He's been claiming that he's Satoshi for a while. All kinds of certain elements of him owning addresses. There's also factual sort of evidence to say that he actually owns an address from Mt. Gox that was, you know, within the the hack, the fake sort of stuff that happened within that. And yeah, definitely the sort of person that you want to trust your money with in terms of leading a project. This is kind of where we're going with this video. Where can you trust? Where can you go? Where can you put faith in a decentralized project, essentially? Now, when you're doing any sort of research, you need to look at a few little things. Number one, how big is the supply? Number two, origin. What is it planning to do? Where did it come from? All kinds of stuff like that. Use case, the team, most notably, and the most important element in the world, obviously price. How are they manipulating the price if they are? Now, this is another one where it pumped massively. It did some crazy little stuff. But yes, in my opinion, this is mainly due to the fact of the owner. I would not put any money into Bitcoin SV due to the fact of who the person is involved with. Simple as that. Simple as that. So there you go. There's number one. The second one is Electronium. Reason why I'm featuring this one is because there's a lot of bad press in the past. They may have overcome it, but mud sticks. I'm covering this due to the fact that it's UK based and I remember it very, very well when I invested in the ICO. The reason why I'm mentioning this coin is because they changed the goalposts massively in the ICO. They made a lot of money. They did it with hype marketing. They did a multi-level sort of marketing scheme. It worked very, very well. And what they've actually brought out to show for it, in my opinion, even now, like three years later, I still think it's very much, I think they've under underperformed in my viewpoint of what they could have got out of the money that they raised. So. That was red flag number one in terms of they moved the goalposts. Their original white paper in 2017 was all to do with gaming. It was massively into gaming that you can mine a cryptocurrency off gaming platforms, playing games on your phone, games consoles, getting partnerships with PlayStation and Xbox. They hyped it up massively. Now, try looking for that 2017 white paper. You're probably going to struggle. There is some copies out there on Bitcoin Talk on some certain drop boxes and stuff like that, but they have been eradicated from the space. There's other elements of this, which is also a bit funky. The supply is obviously huge. When it first came out, the supply was tiny due to the mining algorithm. It doesn't mine, by the way, to market and gimmick. It just drop feeds money into your, your wallet, essentially, on the phone. Now, number one, this tweet is still online. Electronian actually copied the Moreno blockchain back in 2017 and they just changed it. They just changed elements of the code, but they also changed the username of it. So they put out that they got a partnership with Monero. They didn't. 
they basically just copied the open source code like for like and just changed the username and that is all they did. Then they ran it as their own. That, in my viewpoint, red flag. I would not want to invest. They Remember guys, these raised $40 million before the bull run of 2017. A lot of money. So depending whether they took it out at a certain point or what, they could have made up to six times more than that figure because of the way that the market grew so quickly in a three month period. Pretty damn scary, right? Another element of this as well, before launch, they got hacked massively. The whole servers went down, everything went to tits. They had really, really bad security. A lot of people lost tokens, whole big massive flurry of bollocks happened basically, and then a huge delay. A lot of weird stuff happened and they did not control it very well. They went off the grid a little bit. It wasn't announced very, very well. You've also got articles like this back in 2017 where there's too much hype, several reasons to stay away. Obviously, several holes in the project by verified ICOs. Bear with me. Got dog fluff in my uh, mouse. Um, inflated numbers on Facebook, a fluffy white paper, which is now no longer existent. And it basically doesn't have, any, in my viewpoint, I don't think it has a use case. Using a mobile phone and just getting currency mined, it looks good. And the way they've marketed down to the, the developing world, it looks really good. But in my viewpoint, the price of it, you've got to get a lot of electronium to get any sort of money out of that. In terms of that, the supply is also increasing massively. So it's a deinflationary model that doesn't even work in ways. It, it's well, no, actually, it's an inflationary model. It actually in, in increases its supply, which will obviously decrease the price. So it doesn't work. It should be the other way around. It should grow in price due to usage. It doesn't do that. No technology. Obviously, they have copied blockchains. Not good. Uh, mobile mining and white paper isn't technical. It isn't even mining, by the way. If, if anyone's gimmicking you to say that you are mining on your mobile phone, you're not. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, it doesn't use any data or power. Yeah, because it's not mining, mate. That's simple as that. Obviously, overview, white paper, da, 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 da. yeah. There's all kinds of stuff on information. If you just Google and do a lot of research in Electronium, you will find a lot of fluffy bits, a lot of holes, a lot of information that you should realistically be verifying before you invest in any project. Simple as that. The third one is Hex. The only reason why, and I know people will comment saying, oh, but the price is growing. It doesn't matter on the price. It is all to do with who's in charge. Simple as that. There's too many red flags. Simple as that. Myself included, right? I work in this space on a full-time basis. What I put my money into is giving me an income, essentially. Like if I invest in low, buy, uh, selling at high, whatever, doing that simple process, it's got to work. It's got, it's got to be right. Or I live on beans on toast for a week. It's not good. But for me, it all comes down to research. And the first thing that you should always look at, like the first thing, first thing is always what it is, how many coins it has, use case. Then you look at the team, who's in charge. Now, Hex founder is a notorious criminal spam king. There's all kinds of information. This is the guy, Richard Hart is well known. You probably know him anyways. In personal opinion, in, in the crypto space, he's quite, quite well known. But like anything, mud sticks. And this is absolutely amazing information. Amazing information that you can get from this space and the, yeah, simple as that. Do a lot of research on on his name if you so wish to. But personally, as always, I will not put my money into a project that has links to people like this. And finally, before we wrap up, one coin, the obvious one. This was going around crazy when I was getting involved in the space. This was when I was starting to get involved in the space and starting to invest. One coin. This crazy, crazy fabrication of an investment that has cost people millions obviously and the owner this person here the crypto queen um this is obviously a part of a, a bit a bbc uh, podcast the missing crypto queen should definitely check it out but this person has gone off the grid rumors say plastic surgery changed identity probably became an alien or whatever but off the grid completely. This person is wanted for many, many criminality offences, but it just goes to show you how a good hype marketing campaign, a bit of money, gets into that greed factor of everyone. How everyone shouts and talks about cryptocurrencies when their prices are really, really high. However, you must always do research. This is why I'm realistic. 
Yes, I've mentioned some projects here based off past data, but you need to verify it. You need to verify, have they changed their ways? Have they all of a sudden improved what they're doing? Because what happens is people go straight onto CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, they see something going up 20%. They see their friends go, oh, I want to buy that. Cool, happy days, I want to buy it too. What is that coin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happens all the time in my group whenever I mention a coin. But in my viewpoint, personal opinion, not financial advice, I'm putting my money into projects. The owners have to be squeaky clean. Simple. They have to be a clear direction of use case. No change in the goalpost due to the fact that they can make more money the else way in the same way of Electronium. Stuff like Hex, past data of criminality. Mm, not good. Doesn't look good. And then obviously you've got this. The hype marketing train. Promises of riches is always a red flag. Please roll up.